week one. I hope um, everyone is doing well. I know everyone is over your haircut or bedroom. The same here. Um, so I'm going to show you guys some techniques that you can use um, yourself at home. And I hope that will make you guys feel a little bit better considering the current situation. So uh, what I will do, I'm going to start with my beard first because it's getting out of control. Um, I'm going to tidy up my beard and then tidy up around the edges. Um, yeah, and then we'll see what we can do with the hair really. So, let's start. And guys, so here I am. I'm ready. i um, got my apron on. If you guys don't have an apron, just put a towel on yourself. Um, got a comb like this, which I'm going to use, or anything similar to these two, you can use to brush your hair down, beat down a bit to see how much would you like to take off. I hope everyone has got some sort of clippers or even a small one. Um, so. The best way to do it really, start with the longer uh, number, I will start with number 4. Instead of going against the grain, I'm going to go with the grain, so it will be a lot safer. looks better already so this is number four for the people who's got big beards uh, but if you have it smaller beard um, you can use number three or two to start and if you want it shorter you can start using smaller numbers but it's best to start from the longer number so you don't shock yourself So this is number four I've done already, so I'm going to drop another number down to number three to do a bit shorter around here. So I want to create a nice um, sort of fade coming into my beard. Make sure you don't go all the way down with number three because it's a lot shorter than number four. I'm gonna pick up number two now. I'm gonna do exactly the same thing, but a little bit more higher around here. Make sure you brush your hair down to see um, what's happening. And this is one and a half now. So I'm happy with the length already, so I'm going to brush it to the corner a little bit here to see all this hair here that, that I don't want. I'm going to take them off the edge of the clipper like this. This needs to be done very gently because there's no going back. If you see I'm holding my hand with my other hand here to keep it safe so I can control my moves a lot easier. Very gentle and steady. Looks much better already for me. If you like to see the difference, uh, if you look at this side, I haven't done yet, and look at this side, 
is all nice and neat already. So I'm going to pick up my small clippers. I'm going to come a bit more closer to see um, how do I do my line up here and my corners here. So I'm going to use this technique here. I'm using the edges of the clippers. What you need to be careful here is don't take the line really low trying to keep it as high as you can then you might not like it if you take it too low and then you might have to shave it all off so might make sure just keep it as high as possible These parts that you might find quite tricky, you just have to find the right angle. So I'm right handed, so I'm look, looking towards my left, but I'm using my right hand. So if you are left handed, you might have to do right opposite. I'm going to do the bottom part now. I'm going to get a bit more closer. And again, here, try not to go too high with your line, then you might not like it as much. So, if you want it looking like a proper flow bit, try to keep it as low as you can and then trying to keep it as high as you can on top. If you don't have a clipper at home, I uh, just want to know what clip, which clippers I use. I use more seniors. Um, these are one of the best um, clippers that you can ever find. Um, it's professional, we use it all day every day in the shop. It lasts about two years um, at home for you. That should last more than six, seven years. So, and it's rechargeable, you don't have to worry about cables. It's really easy to use. And then mini trimmers I use and this um, Simline Pro. Um, this is really nice, um, you can adjust the sharpness from here um, with those um, screws here um, but it's really clean um, you don't even need to use a razor really but if you want to clean your finish you obviously need to but I'm not going to use the razor because I don't want it looking really sharp so I'm gonna do my moustache now so what I will do first I'll put my comb over and take all the excessive ones. And then I'll touch my lips a little bit as well. Again, when you touch your lips, try not to go too high. You don't want it to look really um, sharp and off your lip. You want it to look like natural and just sitting on your lip. This part's where you got a long beard. When you're eating, it always goes to your food and stuff. So if you brush it this way, you will see all the excessive ones there. So you can always save the corner, corner of your clipper. And push this part with your lip a little.
expensive already. I'm pretty happy with this side here. So what I'm going to do, if you look edges here, you'll still see some hair sticking out. So I'm going to use my scissors to make sure none of these things sticking out so it's nice and neat. Literally just taking the one sticking out, I'm not trying to take length off or anything, so be careful, don't mess with me that. The exactly the same on this side.
perfect. Anyone who has a um, shorter beard, where you usually have sort of number two, number one on your beard, or even 0.5, you can. You don't have to use um, this technique. You can just clip on your number one guard on, and then just go all over it. Um, I would definitely recommend you try not to put the lines on anywhere so it will last you a lot longer if you put the lines in and you'll have to refresh it like every few days but if you keep it natural it will last you a lot longer it will just grow with your beard it will look quite natural it does it won't look out of place uh, yeah so this is uh, it from me today for the beard trim um, we will tune in once I decide what to do with my hair um, I'm in between shaving it all off because to be honest with you i don't think i'm gonna see anyone for next couple of months so it'd be a nice um treat for me to try it um but i'm still not too sure if i want to shave it all off so i'll have to decide and think about it um thank you very much all of you guys for tuning in and i hope you guys um keep in well and all the best and see you on the next video Bye.